Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and today we're going to be doing my new October 2020 barn tour. So it's been a little while since I've done my last barn tour. My last barn tour was in August, and not like that much has changed, but I think there's been, you know, some pretty cool new additions that we're going to be going over today. And just want to remind you guys, I'm still open for commissions and custom orders through Etsy, so please message me. Um, you need parental permission and um, you obviously will need to be paying for that as well. It's not free. Um, yeah, and I also have some really awesome stuff that you guys can go check out and the link will be in the description. Also follow me on Instagram. I post there every single day and uh, I love communicating to my followers through there. So if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to message me through there. And now let's get on with the bar tour. So I wanted to just start out with like an overview. Um, you guys know my board that I showed you guys last time. So that is still there. And then this is just the barn. It hasn't changed too much. I moved this shelf over here though now. Um, and you can see I moved that barn to the top. And then we have this tack station that I made in my one of my videos. And the paddock that I also made in one of my craft tutorial videos. And then this is the brand new addition, which is a Calco Critters house that I basically have now for my Belleville dolls. So super exciting. And yeah, let's get started. So this is what this barn looks like. And each horse has their own individual hay bale. So we're going to start right here. And this is the first barn that I have. So right here is Lisa and she is just standing near a broom like, mm, am I gonna clean? <laughs> How about no? And this is a custom I did on the Lipizzaner mare. Her name is um, Butterscotch and I have her wearing um, custom blanket and a halter that I made for her. And then right here is Lizzie and she's taking a picture because she's obsessed with photography. And in the stall is Janet, and she's with a custom I did on the paint stallion. His name is Oliver. And then this is Missy, this little cute kitten. And also there's this little tiny, I think, what is that? I have a bunch of different ones. This is the last unicorn. That is a really tiny book. Um, and then right here is Onyx. He's a custom on the retired thoroughbred gelding. And he's also wearing all these horses and almost all of the tack here that you're gonna see is made by me. If it's not, I'll probably let you know. It's either made by uh, Schleich Seif, who I did an unboxing video for, or uh, Infinity Briars. And this is Elmira, and she's a custom on the retired Frisian mare. And I absolutely love her. She's super beautiful, and she has this cute little treat. Um, that she can eat and then we have this tiny little bird that does not have a name but you know <laughs> we're all good and now we'll move on to the mare in full barn and this is the new puppy charlie um who was inspired from my real life this is the retired quarter horse mare her name is everglade and her foal's name is ravenhold and this right here is crystal and she's just feeding her and Apple. Over here is the Clydesdale mare and foal, who are also listed for sale on my Etsy, by the way, with this blanket. And the mare's name is Kasai, and her foal's name is Pickle. This is the Shibu Inu. Her name is Plum. And there's this little rat here. He doesn't have a name, but yeah. <laughs> and there's just some apples. And then this is another dog. Uh, his name is Ronan. And then over here we have this new hose, which is super handy. And then this is um, the Shibu Inu baby dog, and his name is Amen. And then over here is Sarah, and she is just tending to Rose here in the stall. And she has the flower crown and butterfly friend that are listed for sale on my Etsy. Uh, she's just hanging out with them. And Rose's foal's name is Blondie. And then we have these really cute Halloween decoration. On a second level, we have the Four Seasons. So we'll start in summer. So right here is Yoku, and he is the retired Tennessee Walker Stallion with a halter made from Infinity Briars and a blanket made by me. 
And then over here is Olivia, and she has this adorable sweatshirt outfit made by Schleich Scythe. And then back there, there's just a bunch of baby bunnies and, you know, guinea pigs and everything and just so much crazy little babies. They're so adorable, just like springtime happiness. And of course, we have our beautiful cherry blossoms. Moving on to the summer uh, section. So this is Spirit. He is the retired Lusitanio stallion. And then down here is Mia and she is just saying, uh, sitting with her little model horse and little hedgehogs and she also has this little picnic basket and then back there are the Falabellas. The Falabella gelding's name is Lancer, the foal's name is Spot, and the mare's name is Astro. And then back there is the chicken Sandy who is also inspired from my real life chicken. And this is the fall section which is kind of like the most relevant section I feel like for right now. Um, so here is this little fire, these two cute, adorable little dogs, Marmalade and Jojo. And then this little squirrel, his name is Peanut. He does have a name. And there's this little happy harvest sign. And then back there's a the chicken coop, some girls who have some eggs. And then this chicken who is facing a tree for some reason. And then some more fall stuff. And I made those little pumpkins right there. Aren't they cute? Yeah, so this is the fall section. And then moving on to the winter section, which is basically what uh, the outside world will look like soon. <laughs> so this is Dalton. He is a custom on the retired Dartmoor Stallion. And then right here is Fire Brigade and his, and this is Smokey and he is a custom on the Great Riding Pony. And then over here is Jennifer, and she is just so happy that it is snowing. And they're with this little tiny baby bunny that they're not going to run over, right boys? And then there's a little wood pile back there, a nice little tree, and some beautiful winter-esque scenery here with the snow. And then we have the bottom level. So these are two customs I've done on the gray riding ponies. And over here is Storm, and he is just a gray, um gray horse and then there's this cat her name is nova and then over here is biscuit and he is another custom i did on the gray riding pony he's super cute and then back there there's just some more supplies um some feed and i think there's like some hoof oil baby feeding bottle um and then over here there is some tax so this is a um bareback riding set and a nice little crop there is the tack room. So um, still haven't had a chance to expand it yet, but hopefully soon. So here are some of the saddle uh, saddle holders, saddle trees, I don't really know the name. Um, and then over here, just some places for helmets, some signs, there's a phone in case the girls wanna call their mom, um, beautiful window, clock, um, this cute little cat. And then this is where we store the saddles. Um, and then over here, there's an entire closet for um, saddle pads. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with making saddle pads. Um, some more of them will be listed on my Etsy soon. And then over here, there are just some Shetlands. This is Spotty. She comes in the Mia and Spotty set. This is Caramel, and she is just a Shetland mare. And this is China, and she is a Chincoteague um, mare from Safari LTD, but I think she's super pretty. And then over here is just Billy and he's carrying some water. And then over here, Sophia is just, you know, standing and chilling. And right here, Rosie is being led by uh, Effie and Rosie is a custom on the Connemara mare that I did. And she's wearing a tag set fully made by me as well. And then back there is Andrea and there are just some buckets and other supplies back there. And over here is Whitestone. He is a uh, Collecta Hanoverian stallion, I believe, either Hanoverian or Chicaner, I can't remember. And then over here is Josie. She is a Missouri Fox Trotter mare, also a Collecta model. And then right here is Missy. She is a Mojo Fjord. A really cute new addition I have so this was originally going to be my greenhouse I may still turn it into a greenhouse I'm not really sure but right now it is this girl whose name is Jenny and this is her little crafting studio 
So she has some really nice big briars and a trophy she won at a live show. And she's just listening to her radio and just kind of like checking out her new model horse that she got in the mail. Here is my arena and this hasn't really changed that much except that Leah is like falling off of her horse, but we're just gonna, you know, ignore that. Back there is Alex and she is riding finesse. This is George and he is riding Jabu and he's just jumping away. And then over here on the paint mare is Issa and she is riding Aaron. And then this is a little mare and foal pony barn. So um, in here is the fell mare in full and the Dartmoor mare in full. The Dartmoor mare's name is Sugar Plum and her foal's name is Maverick. And then over here is Honey Child, the fell mare, and her foal's name is Cloudy. And then back there is Regina, and this is her sister, Sally. And then there's this little remint miniature cat. His name is Noodles, don't ask me why. And then back there with the pigtails is Kristen. And right here is Nika, and she is leading the new 2020 Black Forest Mare, whose name is Hershey. Behind Hershey is Cinnamon, and she is a collective Missouri Fox Trotter Mare, who is being led by Alina. On this level, we have some paddocks. So right here is Firefly, wearing a wonderful Western tack set made by Schleich Seif. And then over here is one of the pony pastures. So this is Cherry Blossom. She is the Collecta Dartmoor Mare. And then that is Sabian. He is the Collecta Dartmoor Stallion. And then back in the corner is Rascal. And Rascal is a Collecta um, Shetland Pony. And right there is Amelia. And she is talking to Madison. And then right there, the green is Madeline, and this dog's name is Banjo. The mare's name is Estrella, and her foal's name is Peanut Butter. There is a custom I did on the fell mare, and her name is Cookie. In the back there, the original uh, Dartmoor mare, her name is Chocolate. Okay, and then this is the final barn I have to show you guys. So this is the Mare and Foal Fjord. Her name is Frivolous and her foal's name is Vanilla. And they have this really cool box fan made by Briar SCS that I haven't fully put up yet, so ignore the fact that it's like falling off. And these barns also have sliding doors. Rina and she is just holding this little adorable baby bunny. And then next door is the Halflinger Mare and Foal. The Mare's name is Cherry and her foal's name is Flick. Or is the Tinker Marin Foal. Her name is Tulip and her foal's name is Minx. And then this is the wash stall that we have. So this is what it's kind of used as a grooming stall basically. But there's some shampoo and some other stuff there and a halter and lead made by me. And this is uh, Cheyenne from the uh, Schleck Horse Club and he is being groomed by Jose. And randomly Coco Puff is just walking through the barn. Right next to Milo, the little key here. This is the tack stand that I have a tutorial that I made for. And here's uh, just one of the tack racks from Schleich, but then also some bridles, halters, leads, um, a lot of just little supplies. There's some hoof oil, um, betadine, some brushes, uh, horse shampoo, and other stuff. And then some tack made by me, some saddles and saddle pads as well as bridles and then some other halters on this side and then this is a new little water water um area so we have the other hose over there but then there's this other water spout for filling buckets for this barn as well as some halter hooks that currently don't have any halters on them and this is angelina and she is just sweeping the ground over here and this is the exciting new addition of this Calico Critter's house. So um, this is where my Bellevilles are going to live and my like Riders as well. So this is basically the kitchen. There are two little kittens in here. They're very big fans of cats. Um, unfortunately, in real life, I'm allergic to cats. So this is just my dream, basically. Um, then this is the pantry where they have a bunch of different food and stuff. 
And then if you go over here, there's the dining room. And right now, Vivian is just enjoying some cookies and pineapple, some random stuff. And there's also a little cart of food and stuff over there. And then if you go up the stairs, there is a little desk where Bella is working on her little like, um horse. And she has some trophies up there as well as some colored pencils and her computer. And this is her vanity where she has her toothbrush and some shampoo and conditioner down there and some lotions and things. And this opens up to a balcony and Ariana is out on the balcony right now. And then over here is the bedroom and bathroom. So this is Joanna and she has this little cute little baby bunny and this teddy bear as well. And she's just laying down on her bed. She has some ribbons that she's won in her shows. Um, back there hanging up and then over here is the bathroom and there's just some little soaps and shampoos and her toilet and everything and yeah that is her their entire house okay so this is a complete overview of everything in my barn <laughs> I'm not going to go through all the names of all these horses but I'm just going to quickly go through them so you can see all of the blankets intact are in this video unless otherwise notified are made by me and there's quite a few of them still for sale so if you're interested please message me on etsy for if you're interested in a custom order or don't forget to just check out what i have listed for sale already and then here is my most recent tax set that i've done i'm pretty proud of it i think it's gotten a lot better Especially like the really tiny details on the bridle, I think I've really improved and I think my saddle is improving as well. Although there's still a lot of things I want to work on. And then there's just some horses with some more blankets here, my whole stable mate collection. And then there's a uh, blanket from In Infinity Riders Co. And then some other blankets that I've made. My favorite boy, Gustav. And um, this is another blanket, a baby full blanket made by Infinity Riders. And down here, I have some more stable mates that are unicorns, as well as some other horses that I have blanketed. These are my most recent collector horses that I got from my unboxing. I think I'm gonna do another comparison video because I think that there are more breeds that I can compare now. And this is one of my favorite sets, um, the cap like a Captain America set. His name is Captain. Um, and it's like a patriotic set I really like. I made the blanket and Finney Briars made the halter and lead. And I have this adorable little llama that I was super happy to get. Also have a few models here, as well as this random Pegasus. So there were a few horses that I really just wanted to point out quickly that are customs that I've done. So this is Vincent. I'm really a big fan of his new blanket. It's super cute and he looks really good in it. Another one that's not a custom, but it's just one of my favorites is Biscuit. He is just one of my favorites. He's a Welsh pony from the Pony Agility set. And this is Blondie, and she is the Welsh Pony custom that I have done, and I really love her. Another one of my big favorites is Toffee, and he is the Wild Julem Pony, and he is also a part of a um, pony training set as well. I just wanted to show you guys this horse. Her name is Bluebell. She's one of my favorites. I just wanted to show you her set that I just did. Um, I think it complements her really well. And this is Sunflower. She's a custom I did on the retired Halflinger mare. I'm really a big fan of her as well. She is a buckskin. Dandy, he's a custom that I did on the retired Fjord Stallion who I have right next to him. And I also wanted to show you guys Aquarius. Wow, his halter is like falling off. I also wanted to show you guys Aquarius because he is literally on my socks, which I think is super cool. Thanks to Pet Party. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this 2020 October barn tour. Uh, this took me a really long time to set up for if you guys want to watch how I cleaned up for this entire video which took me literally like two hours uh, feel free to go ahead over and watch that video don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out my Etsy message me if you're interested in commissions and follow me on Instagram thanks for watching roses and don't forget to stay sweet Mwah!